Okay, guys, um, it's pretty wintry just now and far from ideal conditions for testing the drone. But yesterday, you know, my first chance of actually flying the, the Neo 2 drone and I was actually quite taken back by the performance, particularly the return to home and the, the distance. I managed to get 150 uh, initially meters distance, uh, just the Wi-Fi. I don't have a controller or the transceiver module. Uh, and then I later turned off the, um, the, the airplane mode and ended up getting um, uh, 300 meters. Okay, so that was yesterday. And the, the drone would return, return to home after it lost connection, you know, right back to the rucksack. You know, it was literally no more than a, a few centimeters out or, or less. It, it returned perfectly from almost 300 meters. So today, uh, despite the weather's a lot worse, it's uh, snowing, poor visibility, uh, breezy. Uh, but I thought I'd give it another test. I've been trying out the follow me features in the, the forest again in the dark and snow and that should prove interesting. But So I'm going to fly the drone out, um, turn off, turn on a air, aeroplane mode which disconnects any kind of data or anything like that and um, also I think you might turn off the, the Bluetooth to see if that makes a difference then fly it out and I don't expect to get it as far as yesterday because of the snow you know and visibility it, it must affect the Wi-Fi uh, but um, I, I'll give, give it a go okay and we'll see what happens okay so enjoy Okay, heavy snow showers coming in, but I'm just going to try and do a, a distance test uh, with the Wi-Fi just off the, the mobile. So that, that, that's the plan there. So hopefully all this snow doesn't affect it too much. It probably will, but uh, at least it gives a good idea how to do it in pretty poor conditions. So if I find the DJI Fly reconnect and I'll screen recorder on put it into manual control here so manual control and uh, I'm going to turn off the the put on aeroplane mode Okay, but Wi-Fi is on. Okay, so go back to the app if we can find it. Yeah, it still seems to be working. So range test here. So it's a new battery, second battery. Managed to get 14, 15 minutes in the last battery with the follow me mode, which was really good. So Got the screen recorder on, take off. Take off. Home point updated. Okay, so get it a bit higher. Well, it's going to be affected, the centers are going to be affected by this, so. Um, Put it down a wee bit. Okay, so manual control. So we'll apply it right out here. See how it goes. Up, forward. I'll just tilt the gimbal down a wee bit. So that's 74, 75 metres. 
Okay, in pretty horrendous conditions, it's snowing heavily. Maybe just go up a bit. Yeah, that seems to be okay. I think it should be okay with the trees here. So it's 150 metres, as I say, pretty rubbish conditions. And you can see the snow coming in, so that's going to be affecting the sensors. So, uh, 200, 200, 230 metres, 240 metres. Now, I got 250 metres the other day when it's clearer, 263, 200, 270. Um, now it's 300 metres, so that's better than yesterday. So above the tree, so 320. So really horrendous conditions, you know, heavy snow. 350 metres. OK, 360 metres. Right, uh, 400 metres coming up. Uh, so it's easily coping with that. It's starting to break up a bit. 400 metres. Right, so it's starting to break up. Just over the, the rail over there. Four sixty metres. Need to put it a bit higher. Because there's power lines here. Not sure where the height goes, sits. Some of the power lines coming up, and it's hard to see in the snow. So it's 5.50. That's incredible, you know. So it's above the power lines, I think, hopefully. So it's still able to fly. Okay, so that's it. Just, uh off there so hopefully the return to home will kick in now that is you know almost 600 meters in pretty horrible conditions you know heavy snow uh sort of gusty winds um so let's see what happens here so it should go into um a return to home and start to fly back um assume it's got a decent GPS for the snow coming in. Okay, so... So I'll go forward a bit here and... I'm hoping this is making its way back. Okay, so normally like 300 metres it would lose it. Um, so the fact that it was about almost double that distance, so it probably won't reconnect for a good few hundred metres. That's what I'm hoping, you know, uh, though it's quite worrying at the moment. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite worrying. Um, so... So the automatic return to home hopefully will be uh, working. So uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that the return to home actually works today. You know, almost 600 metres in the snow. So um, wait a minute, I hear it. I think I hear it. Okay. Return to home. Yes, yes. I thought I'd lost it there. It's coming back. It's coming back. In fact, it's directly above up here. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Almost 600 metres with that. And here, Landing. little Neil's coming back. Little Neil's coming back. 600 metres. Wow, just with the phone. Without the transceiver module. That is fantastic. Okay. Um... Okay, so it took off from the, the rucksack here. 
So how close is it going to be to the rucksack? Right. That's it. Oh. The rucksack here. 600 metres. 600 metres. Return to home. Back from the exact takeoff point on the rucksack. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Incredible, incredible. Okay, guys, I hope you found that really useful. I certainly did. I wasn't expecting that. You know, I was expecting maybe 150 metres in good conditions, 300 in perfect conditions, but to be out in the snow, you know, cold, you know, wind, and to get the Neil 2 to fly close to 600 metres. Um, just about under the 600 metres, I lost uh, contact, so went went blank as a, as a lost connection and I knew from past experience that 250, 300 metres the return to home would kick in, it would fly back uh, and it would normally kick in quite quickly but I was close to 600 metres, you know, in the snow and um, yeah, I didn't see anything on the screen so I really started to panic, try to work out how long it would take to connect, what I would do but I realised that at least 300 metres to get to about the 300 metre mark, you know, from 600, uh, that's when normally the connection would fail. So hopefully once I got to that 300, it would reconnect. It still didn't reconnect because I hadn't pressed the button on the, 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 app, the reconnect button. Um, and I, I thought, you know, yeah, what I'm going to do, at least I've got DDI refresh, but um, I heard, I thought I heard the drone coming and I looked up, pressed the reconnect button and we, we just couldn't believe it. I'm so happy <laughs> it reconnected and it flew back. Now the return to home, when I've used the return to home in the past, I was surprised the two times I used it, it literally came right back to my rucksack. Um, but, you know, in the snow, uh, wind, you know, 600 metres away, uh, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, so uh, when I say it flew back, um, it basically landed right back on the rucksack, a small rucksack from 600 metres away, returned to home. You couldn't get any better than that. That. So thanks DJI, absolutely fantastic. So guys, if you found this useful, um, I've got lots more videos coming up with skiing, climbing, ice climbing, rock climbing, you know, using, uh, using the, the, the drone, the Neo and cameras in the, the winter, winter mountains in Scotland. Um, you know, if you're interested in any of this and if, uh, obviously you'd be interested in the Neo and the drone stuff. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a big thumbs up. Please share and uh, absolutely amazing. So yeah, from a snowy Scotland, um, DGI Neo 2 is gets a big thumbs up from me.